Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we are going to exclusively focus on the various applications of database management systems. Why waiting? Let's directly step into the various applications. Before stepping into the first application, I request you to have a paper and pen with you so that you can make a notes of the various application areas that we are going to discuss shortly. The first application that we are going to address today is the sales. How sales is an application area of DBMS. Be it any sales related enterprise, it may be a grocery shop or a pharmacy or a supermarket or a fashion shop or a textile shop, anything. The information such as the customer details, the product details, the purchase details and whatnot, everything needs to be maintained. And where it is going to be maintained? Obviously in the database. So sales is the first application that we are concentrating on in the applications of database management system. Coming to the second application area, which is the finance. What is this finance? The financial institution's main preference will be databases only. You know why? Because they need to store the sales information, the information about the purchase of stocks or bonds, the online trading information. In simple terms, I mean to say the entire stock market and the financial institution related activities must be maintained and well documented. So obviously finance is one of the application areas of database management systems. And coming to the third application areas, which is the banking environment. This banking is an inevitable area of application of DBMS. And it's obvious because the bank needs to store the information of the customers, the accounts, loan, the transaction information, the credit card details, the generation of monthly statements in the credit cards, asset details and many more. So obviously banking is one of the application areas of database management systems. And coming to the fourth application area, schools, colleges and universities. This is obviously an undeniable application of DBMS because students information, teachers information, non-teaching staff information, course information, grade information and everything needs to be maintained. Who knows, even after 20 years, a person may come to the university and ask for certain details. At that time, the university or the school or the college should not say that they have not maintained the information. It's the primary responsibility of any university or any educational institutions to maintain the complete information. And obviously, university schools and colleges will prefer database management systems only for their efficient storage and retrieval purpose. And coming to the next application areas, which is the manufacturing. Supply chain management is an essential part of any manufacturing organization because they need to maintain the details of the production of items, the inventories of the items in the warehouse, the stores and the order information, customers information, purchase information, sales information and whatever thing possible. So manufacturing is the next application areas of database management systems. And coming to the next application areas which is the online stores. And in this contemporary world we are mainly depending on these online stores like Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal and many. And what kind of information are stored and maintained in the online stores? The sales information which we have already seen. In addition to the sales information, the online stores have to maintain the online order details, the sales details, the user login details. Even we can see the recommendations, right? The recommendation details, the reviews about the product by the customers and many. And that's why we are saying that the online stores are also one of the important applications of database management systems. And coming to the next one, the railway reservation. And what kind of information that railways needs to maintain? The PNR information, the passenger name record information, the customer or the passenger information, the train schedule, the reservation information, even HR information. Because railways, they have their own employees. So HR information to be maintained accounting information to be maintained, the route and the alternate route details needs to be maintained. Like railways, we also have another applications of database management system, which is the airlines. So this is similar to the railways like the passenger name record information, customer or passenger information, flight schedule, the reservation information, HR, accounting, route, alternate route details, and also the login details. And coming to the next application areas, which is the HR, the human resource. 
obviously any organization will certainly have employees so employees details have to be maintained the salary details the payroll information the tax information the benefits and goodies information everything needs to be maintained by any organization and that's why human resources are also one of the application areas of dbms and coming to the next application which is the telecommunication industry we cannot deny the fact that telecommunications has made a remarkable revolution in this world and what kind of information needs to be maintained by the telecom sector the customer records the call made details the prepaid and postpaid connection records recharge and bill details balance details and many and coming to the last application areas which is the insurance obviously user details the policy details the buyer details the nominee details the payment details claim settled and login details everything needs to be maintained by the insurance company so we have seen few application areas of database management systems and this is just a sample if you look into the real time applications of dbms it's vast it's enormous you may be having a doubt in your mind why we are preferring dbms we know we have file systems which is also going to store the data and which is also going to retrieve the data now what's so special with dbms and why we are not preferring file systems so it means there are some advantages of having dbms over file systems right and that's what the topic of the next lecture we will compare database management system with file systems before we sign out let's see the homework question i have already listed few application areas of dbms on the screen now what's the homework question i request you to just figure out other application areas of dbms and post your answers in the comment section i'll catch you in the next presentation and thank you for watching